Hey kids, this super short video is made to answer a couple questions. The first one is, how can you make a timeline for a school project and how can you save it if you need to? Well, very, very simple, so let's get started. Yes, we're going to delete the note. Oy vey. So, create a timeline. You're going to go to this more and you're going to simply click on Timeline Creator. It's made by the people at Read, Write, Think. And it's going to open up and the timeline in this case you can create it in a couple different ways you can tell it you want to organize by date there's your example that's obvious we all know that one time you can actually if you're doing it within one day you might want to go with time and then event which is also more like a sequence so just keep that in mind for most of you it's going to be date so in order to keep this video fast and short I went ahead and created a timeline so I've clicked I gave it a name I called it Windows 10 release was the project title and I've gone ahead and I've added a few dates to this so let's say I want another one it's very nice wherever you click let's go for example so just wherever I click that's going to actually you know my timeline so for the label I'm gonna give it the date so I'll say um, November and then 2015 because I'm talking about Windows 10 and the short description would be um, Hello Lens um, preview because they are going to release a preview for the Hello Lens project and then I simply click. Now the nice thing about this is I can obviously move the dates around um, all this good stuff. Let's say I put in something and it's not exactly what I wanted I can actually drag it to the trash and there you go. I don't really want to cancel it. Now what if I want to fix it? Um, what if I want to move the date? That's fine. I just literally move it. If I want to change the wording, I can do that. So Windows 10 release to manufacturer. I just say like RTM because that's actually what that's called in Techie Talk is an RTM release to manufacturer and there you go. So I have my timeline May, July, October, November. And I'm good to go. So this is my timeline about Windows 10. I hit finish. And there we go. That is what it's going to look like when I print it, which is pretty cool. Now, um, if I am still working on this, I can save the draft. And in this case, look at that file ending. It's RWT, which means it's very specific software to them. So I can save this and put it in my Google Drive account, but what I have to remember is when I'm ready to open it back up, I must come back to read, write, think. All right? I can't just open up Google Drive, click on the file, and try to open it. That will not work. Are we tracking? So you can go ahead and save it. Um, to the desktop, then load it to your Google Drive. That's great. Okay. Um, you could save the final, which I believe saves it as a PDF. Just remember that if you save as final, it's final. You can't reopen it and change anything. All right. And then, but let's hope you know you get your project done. L let's just say it's probably best to sit down and be ready and just knock it out. So print final. And here we go, do, 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 do. and it says two pages, that's perfect. I want to print it, yes. Um, if I had a color printer, I could probably, you know, change it to color, but here in the building, it's more like black and white, and then I just hit print. And there we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this very, very quick overview of how to create a timeline. If you have any questions, watch the video again.